Dajahao, Washu Do Creator. Today, we're going to be listening to a performance of somebody singing in their second language. That's right. So, Tan Jing has done a version of Fly Me to the Moon, made famous but not originally written by Frank Sinatra. The song was written in 1954 actually by a guy called Bart Howard. But Frank Sinatra made it famous in 1964, and that was mainly because that was when people were aiming to land on the moon for the first time. So that makes sense. This is definitely not an easy song to sing. Frank Sinatra definitely has a very bespoke way of performing, so it's quite hard to live up to as it is a certified classic. But without further ado, let's listen. So we got this good swing. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me say words English like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, this is quite interesting. Another one, darling, kiss me. She definitely sings it in her own distinct style, which I think is quite Chinese in the fact that she uses a lot of heavy vibrato on the voice on a lot of the longer notes that you can hear there. Also, this performance is very airy and quite grand, but I think that so far she's doing really well. Fill my heart with song and let me sing. Forevermore, you are all I long for, all I worship and adore. Some of her pronunciation is really, really nice. Please be true. So as I said, some of the pronunciation is very nice and she does a very good job of um, making sure that the hard sounds and the soft sounds are in the correct place. For example, a lot of the time, if there is a hard sound at the end of a line, then you would sing that a little bit more softly. So you have things like... My song. You can see here that she does the same as Charles here, this performer. Fill my heart with song and sort of misses the hard G off of the end of song. So that's really, really good that she has that level of attention to the way she pronounces a lot of the words. Nice little bit of jazz on the piano. Nice. Also a little bit of almost like scat singing there. It's also quite a jazzy thing to do. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like a Jupiter and Mars. In other words. She does a great job of pronunciating a lot of words here. My heart Very with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship in a storm. In other words, please be true. That's Evangelion in the background. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it looks like it. Nice, I like her little variations. Mm. 
So this performance is much longer. Frank Sinatra's version is a lot shorter than this. So it gets away with not evolving too much throughout the arrangement. But here we're getting a little bit savvy. Oh, but that's really nice. Strings in the back here, really nice. Oh, and worship and adore in other words. Please be true. Oh, great. In other words, I love you. In other words, I love you. Here, I think her voice is just really, really good. Um, all these notes are absolutely spot on. The way she moves between them is lovely. You can hear like the little bend in some of the lines, like here. The one thing that I really like though that Frank Sinatra does is he has some little pauses and little changes between um, where he places the words in the bar uh, when he's singing them, like this little example here. What spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. So see how the, the voice sort of skips a beat there, it comes through. I really would like to sort of hear that in this version as well. It's sung very beautifully but quite straight and I feel like it's a little bit more jazzy maybe to just have a few of those gaps in there, those missed beats and dotted notes. But I really do like the strings and piano sort of style arrangement that she does. I do feel like it's kind of missing the big band feel that the brass gives that also Frank Sinatra uses in his version. Birds. So, you know, you have bits like that to sort of climax the, the version that Frank Sinatra does. And perhaps Tan Jing's version is just missing that climax a little bit. I do enjoy towards the end, she does open up her voice and get sort of into the high notes, really sort of bringing the chest out. Um, but I feel like the arrangement could also go along with that to help her push up at the end and have more of a climactic ending to her performance. I feel like you could still do that and keep the airy beauty that she actually brings to the song. So yeah, overall, it's really, really great that Tan Jing did her own version of this song. I'm really impressed by that. Getting a female singer to give this a really good cover, I think brings an element of beauty to it with the female voice. And I can't understate how cool it is when people are not only talking, but singing in their non-native language. Um, that's something that will always impress me. Thank you everybody for watching this video with me. Please leave a like, drop a comment down below. What did you think of this performance? Do you enjoy her English singing? And uh, I will see you all next time. Zai Bye bye.